So Isabel and I are out. We're going to the Merchant Mart today for a furniture show. I don't know why I can't remember the names of this stuff. Like, I know the names. At the moment I hit play, I forget everything. I don't know what it is. It's just kind of messed up. But uh, Isabel and I, were, uh, we just got hi. the train and uh, we're downtown. Why you always say hi when it's not ready to say hi <laughs> yet? You mean, so we're downtown Chicago <laughs> walking. We thought about we were going to take an Uber. We decided to walk. It's only a mile. Hi, everyone. So this is when you want me to say hi. Yeah. <laughs> I say hi when you introduce me. That's why when you say I'm with Isabel, I say hey everyone. <laughs> anyway, yeah, we're down here, downtown, going to the Merch Mart. They have a, like a networking event and they also have uh, different furniture companies that we're going to look at. Yeah, we're trying to find uh, new furniture vendors and just more outdoor living products like yeah. fire features, uh, couches, coffee tables and stuff like that. the outdoor living so we'll have those available for you guys even if you don't get a design from us we will be able to sell the furniture to you guys and just different options so just keep a lookout for that So I'm here at the Mart at Windward Design with Greg, and I just found out something. Matter of fact, I've always wanted to give a tutorial on this whole process and subject, but Greg, which he doesn't know for sure if he's allowed to speak, but I'll pan the camera over real fast. He, but what he told me was, the difference between the heights and countertops and chairs is actually 12 inches. So most of your standard countertops are 36 inches, and if you have a chair to it, then you wanna go 12 inches down from that. Then you have like your bar countertops, which are actually 41 to 42 inches. You want to go 12 inches down there from chairs. I did not know that. After all this designing, I've always wanted the number, but he just really screwed me on that. found a, a lot of really neat products or outdoor furniture and some other stuff so um, really neat stuff one of the, the ones that I saw the most that I like I like the whole kitchen that's already pre-built I like the colors it's like a brush aluminum finish so we can use some more of the modern colors and style and compare it to some of the brick finishes and things like that and then just install the custom grill so uh, just keep an eye out like in between screens obviously I'll show some b-roll some of this furniture in different styles especially the fire features is one of the neatest things that Isabel's uh, her, her feet is hurt from walking around but I'm dragging her because I try I'm trying to find um, a fire feature that has they're like sconces that kind of go up in the air they sit on stands I found out, I actually found some uh, solar lighting that's not like your typical landscape lighting it actually fits on the side you can set them on the side of the couches and things like that and very ambient low light pretty neat products I'm excited excited today so make sure you keep your eyes out. Ways to finish the outdoor living is to be able to sell the furniture, pots, and the, the planters and things like that. There's, like I said, there's a lot of stuff that uh, I'm overwhelmed, a little excited today, but there's a lot of stuff that I want to show you guys, and, and we're going to start adding into the sites. We'll probably add it to the Facebook pages, the social media pages of some of the products we have. You don't even have to get a design and a built project from us anymore. Like, say you already have your patio and things like that done. Uh, we're becoming a furniture retailer, so you can actually buy furniture and things like that. Um, grills and stuff like that from us and we can have the right designs uh, we get them directly from the manufacturer 